Hey, good morning, everybody. So today I wanna to show you how to take your two pinch pots and join them together, even if they're not quite the same size. Okay, so we're gonna to try to make a solid um, shape that like form, but has a hole in the middle. Okay, so I have my two pinch pots. They're close to the same size, but you can say, see they're not exactly the same size. Um, so it's really easy to fix that. So usually if it's fairly close, like if it's a huge difference, not gonna work, just make another one. But if it's just a little bit of difference, then we can, we can work with that. So one option is to try to gently do a little bit of squeezing right on the end to make this one a little bit smaller. Um, but I like this size that this one is, so I'm gonna leave this one and I'm just gonna make this one a little bit wider. So I can just do a little bit at a time, try to do it as evenly as I can. And I'm just gonna spend just a little bit of time in widening it out, okay? So you want it to fit really well, okay? So, and just check it and be like, okay, that's close. Let me just, you know, widen it just a little bit more. And if it's not right, fix it. One of the best things about clay is that it's so easy to change, right? As long as it's still moist, um, you can change it. So this one fits pretty good. So I'm ready to join these together. Now it is important that the edges that you have are thick. If you have really pointy edges, then it's never gonna fit together, okay? So like if I look at this one here, if I have a really pointy edge and I try to make a pointy edge meet a pointy edge, it's just not gonna work. So you really wanna make sure that you have the two flat areas because you want flat area to flat area like that. If you have pointy areas, so if you made your pinch pots really pointy, when you try to join this together, like it's gonna curve in like that, or it's gonna, you know, it's not gonna stick real good. And then you'll have to start over again. And who wants to start over again if you don't have to? So here's how you're gonna join these together. So I like to hold it in, in my hand instead of setting it on the table, just like this one. When I set it on the table, I'm setting it on its rim. So, cause I want this to be a nice round shape. Okay, so now I'm gonna use my needle tool. Remember, it is pokey, try not to stab yourself. Um, and what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna hold this in my hand. I'm gonna support the area that I'm gonna score with my finger and I'm gonna take my needle tool and I'm gonna set it gently on the inside and I'm gonna pull towards my finger. Now, since I'm going like this, I'm not gonna cut myself, right? If I was trying to go like this, I would stab myself a whole bunch and that would be a bummer. But if I'm holding my needle tool like this, see how I can cut fairly deeply into my project and it's not hurting my finger. And then I can just move my project. I'm gonna score some more. Now it's really important, important. It's really important when you're joining stuff together that you really score really well. A lot of times students will do this, this, and they'll be like, look at my, see, I did score it, Mizzy. Look, I did score it. No, that does not count as scoring. That's baby scoring. That's like, mm, no, that's not going to work. That's going to bust apart like nobody's business. It's going to dry and crack and you're going to have all kinds of frustrations. So you really got to cut all the way through the side. So like if we're looking, so if this is my side right here, um, here, let me see if I can do this. Okay, so if this is my side, you can see I've got, I'm gonna have my needle tool is actually gonna cut all the way through. Here, let me do a couple. So my needle tool is coming all the way through the side, this, this far down, like it's going almost like a quarter inch down. But you really gotta score well. You're gonna score both sides. Yay, more bells. Mm, this is why I usually do these at home. But I didn't want to get clay all over my house. So I decided to do it at school. That's okay. It work. Okay, so as you're going around, this, I'm telling you right now, taking some time right now is going to make this so much easier for you later. And if you're holding it the way that I'm holding it, you're not going to stab your finger. 
and you'll be able to do this fairly quickly. Now there are other tools like in advanced, we'll get like a little scoring tool and stuff, um, but you really still gotta, like honestly, I prefer scoring with a needle tool most of the time because I can get it really nice and well scored, okay. So we're scoring all the way around. Now we gotta do it on both sides. Now this is the one time, if I set this on the table, I'm gonna kinda, you know, like it's gonna get messed up. So sometimes what I'll do is I'll take an extra piece of clay and make myself a little stand, um, cause it doesn't have to be super beautiful. It just has to keep the bottom from getting all funky. And then I'm gonna do the other side too. I'll try to do this one as quick as I can. Yes, and if you get clay on your hands, it's a ceramics class. It washes off. Don't eat the clay, okay? It won't kill you, but it won't make you feel very good. Oh, this is the other thing I see a lot of. Students will be like, they scored deep enough, but they scored just like this, where it's not like you scored deep enough, but you just didn't have enough lines. And if you go in kind of multiple directions, that's a good plan too. Do, 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 do. Almost there. Okay. Now this next part, because we've done the scoring. So just like we watched on the scoring and slipping video, you're going to slip it next. So remember, you're not trying to make this sucker like super wet. If you make it crazy wet, then you're going to have a hard time blending. But you just want to kiss it like a dewdrop fairy. Okay. So I have my bucket of clean water and I've got my little brush. So I'm going to take this. I'm going to just gently get the extra off of my um, brush. And I'm just going to kiss it like a dewdrop fairy. Bing, bing. Oh, smoochy smoo. Right. Bing, bing, bing. And I'm just going to gently tap it. And you can see like it starts to get shiny. Like the water will suck into there. Now, this clay is fairly... Um, wet still so I can only I only have to wet it on one side now if I was trying to join two leather hard pieces together that might be a little bit more where I need to make sure that I uh, wet both sides or slip both sides okay so now what I'm going to do I'm going to make sure one edge matches and I'm going to push it together and then I'm going to start to match the areas next to it and I'm gonna go all the way around. If there's a little bit of stuff sticking out, that's okay, just a little bit. So when I'm pushing on this, I'm not trying to push flat because I don't want this to become a pancake, okay? So I'm kind of putting pressure like together like this, but I'm not putting pressure ugh, like, like that, okay? So I'm really gotta get these stuck together really good. So I'm gonna keep kind of pushing these together. Now, to make sure that it's gonna stick really good, you want goobery stuff to squeeze on out. Like, if there's no stuff coming out of this, then you didn't score it enough, okay? So you want all this goobery stuff. The benefit of the goobery stuff is then, once you kind of have it stuck together, it's already kind of like, easy to smooth, right? Because you got all the goobery stuff and you can just kind of be like, yeah, let me use that to smooth. Never add water to the outside, okay? This clay, sometimes uh, people will use a lot of water when they're hand building, but they have a different type of clay than we do. So with the type of clay that we have, you do not want to add too much water to this. So you, if you're like, oh, but it's not smooth. Let me like, mm, let me dip my hand in water and rub it all over. No, for our clay, that will literally break your project. It'll look like it's fine. And then you'll wrap it up to put it away for the night. And then you'll come back tomorrow. And you'll be like, Missy, why is my thing all broken? And I'll be like, uh, did you put water on the outside? Because I can tell. Okay, so now that I've got it all the way around, now it's filled like a balloon, like it's got air inside. So I can kind of adjust it to whatever shape I want. Like I can squeeze this into a ball. I could use this part of my hand to pinch it so it's more like a berry shape, like a strawberry or a teardrop. There's all kinds of different stuff that I can do with this now that this has some air in it. And like I said, you wanna keep this rounded. If you're wrapping it up already with um, 
plastic and stuff, you can always keep a little extra poof on the bottom so that when you set it down, it's not gonna um, change the shape. Or you can just reuse like some of your clay to help keep it from losing its shape. So that is how you join them together. All right, thanks everybody. Have fun and be creative.